Adrian, can you hear me? All right. I guess this has a mic too, so do I need to stand closer to here? All right. Can you guys hear me if I walk away from the, the mic? Daryl, that's just because you're old, man. I'm just kidding. All right, so thank you for coming out to OISF. How many of you guys, this is your first time coming out to OISF? That's awesome. How did you guys hear about us? Friends, coworkers, some of you guys, coworkers, Twitter, anybody hear about us just on Twitter? One? All right, we made a difference. This, this is, we've tweeted more this month than I think we've ever tweeted before. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we got uh, one person that heard about us, so that's worthwhile. Hold on, I don't know what I just did. All right. So yeah, thank you for coming out to OISF. Um, so our purpose behind OISF is we conduct training, we network with each other, we, we connect peers. Uh, in the security world, in IT world, people that are in, interested in security, we want to connect you guys. And, uh, and we want to share our knowledge. We all have different expertise, so we're going to use that. And, and really, the reason why is we, f we focus on educating users, whether, whether they're IT or non-IT, the, the importance of security. Um, we've seen in many different ways in the past few years the importance of security. I think we all know that because we're here, um, but there's a lot of people that don't. And so, so the reason that OISF was formed and, and the reason we continue on is because we want to make an impact. Um, we want to make a lasting impact, whether it's in our field or, or really in general. And so um, we're a small organization. We're not a, a large organization. And there's a grade, like conferences like DerbyCon and things like that are awesome. Um, and, and we're not that, and we're, we're cool with that. Uh, we're, we're here for you guys to come, share your knowledge, get a chance to present if you want to, and use that as a launching pad. Um, get a chance to talk with guys like Daryl that can help mentor you in your path, and, and just get a chance to, to share what you've learned, whether it's a cool tool that you just learned about, um, or, a, or a new idea for an exploit, or we've had people come and talk about the, the legal side of things, and we're going to have one of those later. It's um, it's really about just connecting and, and really going out from here. So the purpose of us is not to stay in the little room, but to go out into whether your business or your personal lives and, and use what you learned and share it. So we meet monthly, um, every month other than July. It's the second Thursday of every month at 6 p.m. Uh, we do provide uh, generally pizza and soda, sometimes subs, but we provide food and drink. There are no membership fees, so you don't need to sign up for anything. Um, you can just show up. Uh, we try now to tweet about it. We'll, we'll try with LinkedIn, possibly. Um, but just show up. Second Thursday of every month, uh, we get here. We start eating around 6. Not this room, but just a couple doors down. Um, and then talks will usually start around 6.30, 6.45, and go till 8 or 9, depending on how much interaction you guys have. Um, so the board of directors, we've got John Hermes, uh, Tom Webster, Charles Monet, Rob, Rob Stewart, and myself. And our patron saint, Daryl. So, and Daryl's mustache. I, th I thought about trying to separate that out so it could be a second patron saint, but I'm not good enough at Photoshop. Um, but Daryl was one of the founding members. He's helped us out continuously, so I want to put him on there as well. And really, as a board of directors, it, it, our organi we, hmm? oh. uh, our, our purpose is to organize things, whether it's to find speakers, put together this, um, so logistics, uh, making sure we have food and drink to be able to provide. Um, so that's uh, our uh, board of directors, and if you want to email us or anything like that, feel free to reach out. Um, we can give you our email, email address here. You can hit us on LinkedIn or Twitter. Most of us are on there. Um, so requirements of you. So there are requirements of you. Is contribute your knowledge and, and participate in the discussion. Otherwise, it's just up here, us up here speaking uh, monotonous, really. Um, so, so actually participate in the discussion. If the, the speaker asks you a question, make sure you answer and respond and share your expertise. We also need presenters. So whether you're a seasoned presenter like Daryl and you've spoken at Hacking Paris, which I'm still jealous about, um, or, or this is your first time presenting. I never presented anything publicly until I started coming here and, and Daryl forced me to present. Um, so, so get up here and present. It can be a short five-minute, hey, I found this tool. You can do this with it. Um, you don't have to write the tool. 
you can just present on something somebody else has written, just make sure obviously to give them credit. Um, but this is our user group, so, so we, can, uh, we can present. Sponsors, so uh, we, we run on donations and sponsorships. So we've got uh, Wellberry Information Services, Evan Anderson attends often. Um, they've got a consulting service that Evan has been really good with and supported our group for a while. We've got Nexum, uh, another consulting firm that, uh, and reseller. And Caesar Creek Software, they've sent presenters, they've uh, and helped us out as well. Um, and then a huge thanks to Miami Valley Research Park. They've helped put this room together as well as our monthly room. So I want to uh, give a shout out to them. Uh, interact with us, uh, probably better on Twitter than LinkedIn, but either one, um, we're out there, OISF. Um, you can find us and go ahead and interact with us. Ask us questions or, or um, talk about it with others. Um, disclaimer, uh, materials presented don't reflect uh, or express the opinion or position of the board, the forum, or the sponsors. Um, we're not responsible for any misuse or anything you do that's stupid with what you learn. Um, so don't call us from jail. Um, we're not going to bail you. It's all at your own risk. Uh, so today's agenda. So we've got registration and breakfast that takes a long time. Um, we've got introduction, which is what we're doing now. Uh, and then Ben Ten's going to kick us off. Uh, Dave Kennedy, Adrian Crenshaw, and then we're going to have lunch. We'll be bringing pizza in, um, and we'll have kind of a mini lockpick village. So if you were interested in that, Adrian brought some stuff for us. Um, and then Phil Grimes will be here, the great ape, and then Dino Saboris and Mip um, are going to speak. And we're going to have cake and prizes at the end. And, and one of the prizes I think is really cool. So I'm going to go out of camera for a second so I can show you a little bit. So... Uh, and this is going to be, the, the case part of it is going to be released here soon. Or, or actually, no, it's already released. Um, but we've got Tom Webster did some awesome work with 3D printing. Um, and so we've got a Raspberry Pi 2 case. Uh, Tom designed, well, Tom modified design from Thingiverse and a buddy printed them out um, with a 3D printer. But we've got a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, with a custom OSF case that we're going to be giving away. And then the, uh, the case actually is, is posted. Um, uh, Tom's going to send an email out soon um, that you guys can get on. And if you have somebody that has a uh, 3D printer or you want to go to like the prototype bar or something like that and print it out, you can. Um, so that's going to be really cool. And we've got some other prizes as well. Um, and last but not least, contact us. So uh, I've got my email address right there, info at ohioinfosec.org. If you've got either a potential sponsor or an idea for a presentation or a critique or anything like that, uh, feel free to reach out to me. And then also, uh, if you come on Thursday nights, the doors lock at 6 p.m. And so we have a building code that works um, pound 5002 star. We'll get you in the building so you don't have to wait out. In the summer, it's not as bad. Uh, but once it's winter time, if you have to wait out there for you know, 30 minutes, uh, it gets cold. So uh, write that down um, and you can get in. And, th and that's the intro. So we're going to turn it over to uh, Ben 10, who is going to wow us. Uh, I've got to find a stool somewhere because um, this is kind of tall, but I think, all right, that works.